welcome and welcome back to Angela's Hauls and Lifestyle. I hope that you guys are having a wonderful day. If you haven't already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I will greatly appreciate that. All right, guys. So today's video is an open collab, which is titled hashtag create your own shadow box that is hosted by two of my sweet, sweet friends, Kimmy over at Kimmy's Kitchen and More and Lois over at Life with Lois. I'll be sure to link both channels down in the description box below so that you can go over and check them out and show them some love and support. So with this open collab, hashtag create your own shadow box, all we had to do was create a shadow box. No particular theme. I think you could just come up with whatever it is that you wanted to create. So what I'm going to do, I am going to show you everything that I use to create my shadow box. And then I'll show you uh, what the actual shadow box look like. Okay, so first thing first, some of the items that I use. I use the mint green craft smart matte acrylic paint that I purchased from Michaels so I use this color paint as well as the vanilla by craft smart matte acrylic paint okay I also use this two-tone like this natural and white or natural cream whatever you want to call it jute twine I use that okay I use two of these little sunflower wooden beads from this pack that I purchased from Timu. I also use this Floral Garden Burlap Ribbon. It's very pretty with the lace. Okay, I use that. I use one of these little wooden flower um, pots that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. Everything that I use, excluding the paint, all came from the Dollar Tree. So these came in a pack of, I don't know how many, maybe three or four. Uh-oh, three or four, but I did use one of them. Okay. I also used some of this Floral Garden Burlap Ribbon, this smaller one here. Okay, if you can see that. I use that. I use some of these little sunflowers here. So y'all know how I feel about sunflowers. So y'all know I had to create something with sunflowers, of course. <laughs> and wouldn't it be me if I didn't do that? <laughs> and then I also use this sunflower um, craft fabric. Now this came from the Dollar Tree, but it was gifted to me by Tony over at Creative Chica Halls and Crafts. So I use some of this for the background of my shadow box. And then the actual shadow box also came from the Dollar Tree. All right, so here is what I came up with. Okay, so here's my little shadow box here. So this right here, this shadow box before I painted it, it was this color, just like a natural light wood um, color shadow box. And then this one was also like with the fall items. So it had like the little acorn cutouts, but I wasn't really feeling the acorns and the sunflowers together. So I covered the holes on the side with the sunflowers there and one on that side. And then I used some of the craft fabric sunflowers to put on the inside to cover that hole. So I put one there on that side and one on that side. So I painted just the perimeter and the inside of the shadow box, you know, just the perimeters with the vanilla acrylic paint. And then the bottom, I wanted to, you know, just to create just like a some grass, faux grass, <laughs> or the look of grass with this a green paint, okay? Mint green, all right? So then you see I added the, that burlap, ribbon with the lace i added that around the all around the perimeter of this shadow box even at the bottom so i used the jute twine the two-tone jute twine so what i did i hot glued that twine all around the um shadow box and then when i got to the bottom 
I hot glued it down and I tied it into a bow so that it could dangle down so that I could add some beads. So y'all know I love to craft with beads as well as sunflowers. So I used some green, white, and yellow beads along with the sunflower wooden beads that I got from Timu. So I added those to the um, jute twine to dangle down. And I also added a jute twine hook at the back so that I could hang this because at first I was gonna create a shutter box where I could hang and lay flat to, you know, sit things in. But then after I, I came up with the idea of using the flower pot, I was like, I'll just use it as a hanger shadow box. So that's why I put that there. And then I add another little sunflower in the back, which you wouldn't see that, but you know, just being me extra. <laughs> so then on the inside, you know the to add like a frame that's where i added the smaller burlap trim okay and then the background is this um sunflower craft fabric that i glued down to the back okay so i painted the little flower pot that mint green color as well and i tr added some of this jute twine you know to trim it if you can see that. And then I stuck one of those little sunflowers down in there. So I used like some little sponge to stick down in that flower pot so that the little flower can stay there. So that's what's holding that sunflower inside the pot. And then I just hot glued some two little sunflowers on the side just to give it a little added touch. And yeah, and that's my shadow box. So this is my entry into create your own shadow box. So in my opinion, I think it turned out super, super cute. I had so much fun creating this and yeah, that is it. Just to give you a full look of it again. Super, super cute. Okay. So just to show you how it will look hanging and there you have it you have a hanging shadow box and that's what i created for create your own shadow box <laughs> all right guys that is it for this video hashtag create your own shadow box i want to thank both kimmy and lois for hosting such an amazing and fun open collab i thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and i hope that i inspired someone to create a shadow box all right guys if this is your first time watching and you enjoy this type of content go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I will greatly appreciate it if you give this video a big thumbs up. Comment something down below and don't forget to ring the notification bell so that you're notified each time I upload a new video. And as always, I am now signing off, sending positive vibes and wishing you many, many blessings. Hope to see you on the next one. Bye.